Hello everyone, I'm Jody Lynn and welcome to AD Naturally where we talk about non-invasive better aging solutions for the mature skin. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my mom's results thus far using the radio frequency device um, called Miele. Uh, you guys have been really, really requesting this. You're like, how's your mom doing with that device? So I've got some results <laughs> and I wanna share with you and I'm super excited to get those results to you. Uh, I also, I've got some information that's kind of new on how to use this device, so make sure that you listen to the video because that is really important. If you are new here, welcome. I started noticing my skin to really start to sag at 47 years of age and uh, needles and knives are not, I'm deathly afraid of them, so injectables and plastic surgery was not something that um, I are for me, that isn't my route. So I started doing some research on um, what we could do at home and taking care of the skin. And I test at home devices. I feel that I've made huge improvements in my skin. With at home devices, with a good skincare routine, check out other videos. I'm pleasantly surprised. That's what we talk about here. Um, it's always skincare Sunday. I also do some makeup, um, lifestyle on other days as well. So I at least upload once a week on Sundays. So if that's something you're interested, I would love to have you. Let's talk about what even radio frequency is. So as we age, we lose collagen, which has to do with environmental factors, but mostly the sun. The sun is what ages us. That is just a fact. UVA, UVB, rays, age, our skin. The UVA, the A is actually, I consider the aging part of the skin where it is um, changing the DNA of our skin cells at a level that you are not going to see at all until you get older and your wrinkles, your loss of elasticity, all of that is the UVA. UVB is where you burn. B is for burning. And burning, obviously, over time is definitely going to, you know, help increase <laughs> um, those uh, fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, but a lot of people always say to me, well, uh, I love a tan, so um, I don't burn. I actually just get a tan and that it doesn't matter because like I said again, that UVA, you're not gonna see immediate results from the UVA damage. That is at a cellular level that over time, you're gonna see the damage. You're gonna see around the age of 30, if not you know, late 30s is when I started noticing it. My hyperpigmentation from sun, um, any dark spots that you get on your skin is from the sun. So, um, and also loss of collagen, loss of elasticity, which is going to make your skin sag. So radio frequency is great at helping to lift the skin. What radio frequency does is it actually creates heat to the area deep within the dermis that creates enough stress in that area to be able to create collagen over time. So it is something that you need to use consistently, um, long periods of time. This is not something that is going to be a quick fix. You might see a, a kind of an instant kind of lift, but you're gonna see better results over time. So um, it is something that you need to use consistently. They do have radio frequency that you can go in for professional treatments. Um, depending on where you go, what state you're in, they can run you anywhere from you know $5,000, $2,000 for sure. There's some downtime because they're a lot more powerful. Um, at home radio frequency devices, they're definitely not gonna be as powerful, which makes it even where you need to be using it more consistently. And it's not gonna burn you. Um, it's gonna be gentle on the skin um, and there's not gonna be any downtime. So that is something to just kind of make note of as well. You wanna know a little bit more in depth detail about this device and you wanna know how it works, I will go ahead and link that video. But this is where I uh, was really uh, confused. So in my first video, I had stated that you only needed to use this device twice a month, which we know radio frequency usually need to use it with other devices anywhere from four to five days a week for at least the good month or two. And then you can go down to maybe three days a week for maintenance. Um, so it's a really time consuming device. And um, so when I saw that you only need to use it twice a month. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like amazing. Um, 
it is, that is not the case. It is actually twice a week for mature skin. So I was confused because in the manual, it says we recommend you use to use this device between every two weeks. So I was really confused. I thought, oh, I thought that it meant every other week. Um, so I did reach out to the company and they said, no, mature skin should really use it twice a week. So with that being said, twice a week is still a lot better than four to five times a week, as we know. The unique thing about this device is not only do you um, can you use it on the face and the neck, and, but you never want to use it here, um, is that you can use it on the body, which is super cool. So if you've got like that kind of crepiness or that skin that's getting like kind of thin and wrinkly on your forearm or under the arms, around the knees, this is something that you can definitely use. And they've got treatment plans in their main Photos that I'm going to show you are of my mom when she um, took before and afters February 1st. So September to February 1st, I'll put the dates on here for sure, but um, just to let you know. So she's been using this, um, that time period for only twice a month. So I was like, oh my gosh, she's supposed to be using this twice a week. I wonder if she's going to see any results. So I actually, which we have changed. She is now, <laughs> after, after we've done these uh, before and after photos, she is now doing it twice a week. So it'll be really interesting to see also the differences um, in doing it twice a week instead of twice a month. So um, let's go ahead and look at her before and after photos of just using this device twice a month. Um, I am really pleasantly surprised. So I, but she is a smoker, so that is something to kind of just also make note of because we know that smoking can cause environmental factors on the, on the face as well. But she does wear a sunscreen. I have got my mom on a sunscreen, which I'm really proud of. So um, let's look at the, the front view. Um, so I think that you can tell by the front view that my mom's face doesn't seem to be as long um, meaning I feel like we're kind of lifting some things. The um, more results, and I really apologize for the lighting in here. I really surprised, I'm sorry. I do my best. I am not a you know professional photographer, um, but I think that you can tell the difference. Looking at the right side, I think that you can definitely see in the jaw line that there is a lift and also the marionette lines that there's definitely some lift there and just the overall wrinkles aren't as pronounced especially when you're looking at that left side so if you look at the left side i feel like you can really see that the hollowness in that uh, cheek area is kind of getting a little bit more full as well and the lines are not going so vertical um, they're just a little bit more you can see that also the lines I feel like are not as pronounced and I feel like in that marionette line right here you can definitely see that jowl area is starting to lift let me know your guys' thoughts so I am really impressed honestly, with her results, with only using it twice a month. I was like, okay, some things are really happening here. This is super cool. And she says that she really loves the feel and texture of her skin as well. So um, that's just kind of something to note. But like I said, she's starting to use it twice um, a week now. So it's going to be really interesting to see her progress by upping the treatment time to twice a week. So I am definitely going to be keeping you updated on that. I really do apologize about the twice a month. I have since changed that video. I felt so bad about that. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh, I feel so terrible. I've been telling people that they can use this device only twice a month. Um, um, I've since changed my thumbnail on that video and changed the video to reflect and taken out that part. But um, so if that's something that you're considering or you've already purchased it, I do apologize. Um, I really do think though that twice a week is so much better than some of the other devices when you've got to use them four or five times a week. So the reason for that is because this is a powerful device at 24 watts, but you're not going to feel that burn um, so you don't need to worry about that always start at a level one if that's something that you're interested in and then work your way up so um, my mom she says that she doesn't like to use a level three on this area um, she likes to use a level one so just kind of make note of that particular areas 
you might be able to because she says well I can use a level three here because it's obviously going to be thicker skin but on those more delicate areas you might just want to use a level one or level two so something to just kind of play with so I just want to share with you that um, as some of you have asked me about my health and I'm doing so much better since my surgery I had major surgery in December and I'm just feeling so much better I'm on my way to good health and I just thank you so much for your thoughts I'll be going to back to work here soon um, and yeah I just just really I, I really thank you for your thoughts they just it, it really warms my heart so thank you and give it, let me know your thoughts on my mom's progress and I hope that you like this video if you did go ahead and give it a like make sure you subscribe